Welcome into another edition of the Rams Roundup. This is our second time observing the Fordham women's basketball team. I'm Corey Miller, joined by Coach Gately. Coach, you guys just back, got back from a trip in Vegas. First of all, how was that? Well, it depends on how you look at it, Corey. <laughs> Actually, you know, Vegas is a fun place to go if you walk away a winner. So, unfortunately, you know, we had two tough games. You know, I had a tough time at the slots. So, uh, I was a loser across the board. Of course, we had Thanksgiving dinner at Caesars Palace. That was certainly something I never thought I would experience that myself. Anyways, let's get to basketball. You guys had two tough opponents in Syracuse on the second game, Texas Tech the first game. Both battled in both games, but couldn't come out in the fourth quarter. What was your assessment of your team's play? You know, I told them, unfortunately, guys, the NCAA is not going to change the rules and make it a three-quarter game. Okay, we're going to have to play 40 minutes. You know, if you want to beat teams of that nature, you're going to have to play 40 minutes. And, you know, on the bright side, obviously, with us not playing well, we were hanging around. You know, so my thing is if we can play some good basketball, there's no telling what we can do with this team. Two games coming up this week, one on Thursday night and one on Saturday afternoon, Delaware and Delaware State. What are the challenges that these two teams are going to bring to you guys? I mean, both athletic teams, Delaware's playing very, very well, took a very good uh, Wisconsin team, you know, lost by two. Um, and then, you know, Delaware State, another athletic team, you know, they've had some coaching changes in the past, so I think they're still trying to find themselves, but I think they're gaining confidence as they go along. What is your message in the, to your team in terms of improving their turnover to point score ratio? It has to start in practice. So today we took a step forward. I mean, I think if we can eliminate turnovers in practice, I think that carries over to game because I think proper preparation gets you ready for things. So uh, the first step is to do it in practice. The second step is carry it over to the game. Thanks, Coach, and good luck against Delaware and Delaware State. Thank you, Coach. Now joined by Fordham Sports Female Athlete of the Week, Hannah Mystery. Hannah, congratulations. Thank you so much. Now, you just got back from a trip out west in Vegas. First of all, how was that? Uh, it was a lot of fun. I mean, we had some time on our own, but it was all about basketball, so we all had fun as a team. Now, you guys, 0-2, maybe not the results you guys wanted, but two tough teams. How would you assess your team's play? Um, of course, we're not happy with the losses, but we are happy with the opportunity we got. I mean, we were able to play two really good teams, and we were able to find our identity, find what we need to work on, find things we need to do. So I think it was really it was a positive experience for everyone. Now, we all know your strong suit is the three ball. Not the hottest start to your season, but that last game against Syracuse, you started to go off in that second half. How is the shot feeling? Um, a lot better, actually. Um, I mean, against Texas Tech, and even before that, it wasn't feeling too great. But um, I knew I wasn't going to get a lot of shot opportunities, um, especially the way that they were picking up in their zone um, and finding the shooters. So I was able to take the opportunity I had, just the few shots I had, and thanks to my teammates for looking for me. Last question, two games coming up this week, Delaware and Delaware State. How do you guys, how do you like your chances against these two teams? Um, we had a lot of time pre to prepare for them. I mean, we really know what we're doing. We spend a lot of time on their sets, so I think we're ready to fight back. Hannah, congratulations on Female Athlete of the Week, and good luck in these next two games. Thank you so much. Well, that's it for another edition of the Rams Roundup. Please be sure to tune in on Thursday night at 7 as well as Saturday at 2 as the Rams take on Delaware on Thursday night, Delaware State on Saturday afternoon. You can also tune in to the A-10 Network. Thanks to our guests, Coach Gately and guard Hannah Mystery. For another edition of the Rams Roundup, I'm Corey Miller for WFUV Sports.